Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're back. That's right. Nerd Generation. Collaboration with AK News. MCU Future Series. This time we're going to throw a monkey wrench in the game. You guys didn't see this one coming. But before we begin, do the right thing, do the best thing. Go to the subscribe button, click on it. Always be notified when all the action, fun, excitement, and the drama is available. Ladies and gentlemen, Nerd Generation creator and CEO, that's right. His name ain't Tony Stark. But we know around here is Pablo. Let's say it twice alone. P, what's going on? Hey, man, nothing, man. Another week, another show. Another week, another show. We're in the cold mine. Just turn the lantern on and don't let them go get you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this one's a different one because you think you pretty much know what we're going to talk about, but this one we're going to throw a little monkey rich. Today we're going to talk about one of the most popular but unpopular but awesome but not well known. Let me just stop with all the let me all stop with all the adjectives. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about the and he had the mighty first. Because I remember the cartoons back in the 60s. I used to watch it with uh, Speed Racer. The Mighty Hercules. Remember that? That was great. Remember he had that big H on his belt? That was dope. I tried to make one. When I was a little kid, I tried to make one. Uh, anyway, that's not, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. And no, I was not around when the uh, cartoon first aired. All right, so I uh, tell my auntie, you can slow down. I, I ain't that old. All right. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Hercules, he's the Greek version. Uh, they didn't do the Roman version. And now that Doctor Strange is here and the multiverse is here, I think it's a well-fitted opportunity to introduce Hercules. I'm not saying give him a movie, but I tell you what, you give him his own TV show, I'm watching that. Oh, hell yeah. Because the Hercules on CW worked. But this time, it won't be crazy. Like, <laughs> CW's Hercules. I mean, I, listen, I love Kevin. I love Kevin Serbo, and that's a little plug. Now, you guys, when you watch this, the whole video, Kevin Serbo is going to show up. And you're going to go, oh, Kevin, Zena. Yeah, I know. You guys are going to make all the – that's what we do around here. We, we do all the – you guys are going to spot it. But anyway, Kevin Serbo's Hercules ran for a while on CW. Yeah. So you can't say it can't work. Yes. And maybe this is us pitching a show to Disney, Kevin, if you're listening, once those hashtags go up. Hey, Hercules. P, I don't think we're going to get paid for that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hopefully we just get brought in for a meeting or two. Hercules is a great character. You got to have the right actor to play it. You surround them by giving him a perfect cast, mm -hmm. a perfect symmetry, yeah. and he can, fit, he can easily fit right into the Marvel Universe. And if you don't want to use Hemsworth all the time in the Avengers movie, do it like they did in the comic books. Ladies and gentlemen, let me get some facts. You know what we do around here with the facts. Marvel's Hercules debuted in Journey into Mystery, number one, 1965. His first appearance, though, was Avenger number 10, 1964. Now, you're saying, wait a minute. Back then, boys and girls, the comic books ran by titles. And it was also a period, if you guys didn't know, I'm talking to the to the OGs, we all know that the original X-Men run, they started running repeats for a good 10 years. Ah, just put you up on something. Mm -hmm. Some of those X-Men comics, they just ran repeats. But anyway, that's another story down the line. P, I think Hercules works. I Just us sitting here talking about this, this is exciting to me. Hercules, bring him in the fold, bring him in the Avengers. He doesn't need the spotlight, but he will be there for that moment when you can't use Hulk or you don't want to use Thor. You still got basically the strongest man in the universe, except for when the Hulk really gets mad because he didn't get his uh, Starbucks. And then he just freaks out. But other than that, on par, Hercules, Thor, Hulk, Better A Bill, Gladiator, all these guys are on the same level. Yeah. And Hercules is a character. And not for nothing, Hercules in the Marvel Universe is the best hand-to-hand -hand fighter. He's a yeah. better hand-to-hand yeah. -hand fighter than Thor. Thor is just powerful. Why? He got yeah. his father's Odin power. Yeah. 
The Lord commands the storm and the lightning. I'm not talking about that type of power. Yes, Hercules does not shoot any blasts, any energy. He didn't get any of that from Zeus yet, because I guess at that time Zeus is still alive. But uh -huh. as far as fighting and holding and judo, and ju Hercules is the best. Yeah. You know who I always pictured and I, I never forgot because it was just fantastic to see Lou Ferrigno as Hercules. Oh, yeah, that bad movie by 1985. Yeah. And who else was in it? Who else was in it? Ladies and gentlemen, Sybil Danning. She was the hottest chick in the game. Yeah. <laughs> Sybil Danning. Remember, she played in everything. She played in the werewolf movies. She played in... Co Did she do a Conan? Was she in Red Sonja? Something, but Sybil Danning was it. Sybil Danning was... Uh, whatever happened to her, now we're going to look it up. She was almost like Bridget Nielsen until she yeah. showed up on Flavor Show. Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Just bringing it in. We're having fun right now, boys and girls. But I'll tell fun. you this. I'll tell you this. Um, I even went back to see uh, a Hercules film that Arnold Schwarzenegger was in, and his voice was dubbed. Oh, really? Yeah. I never knew. I saw, yeah. I saw the Hercules Lou Ferrigno was in. Yes. That was bad. That was those, bad. Those were, those were bad, but as a kid, you were like, you were like wow, that's awesome. No, no, kid, Saturday <laughs> afternoon. And then yeah. after that, the Kung Fu movie comes on. Yeah. You know, you love exactly. it. Exactly. Exactly. So, it would be dope to see uh, someone portray it like that. Because when you read about him, even when I used to take Latin um, classes, and we used to read about him in Latin. And when we would translate, they would talk about Hercules being a huge guy. Not a huge, like the Hulk, but for a normal oh, yeah, dude. Oh, no, no, not muscular. He was, a, he, yeah, he, he was a, 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 a big dude. He was muscle-bound. Yeah, he was so built. when he was so built. yeah, so those ch that Channel Eleven Kevin Sorbo really didn't. I was like, yeah, this ain't Hercules to me. So I never really got into it. Okay, okay. yeah, well, yeah, and then they they put him with they they put him with those leather pants that got the flakes on them. <laughs> Listen, like I said before, I love Kev. I love Kev. Everybody fell in love with the long hair. He was like Fabio, <laughs> but cooler. <laughs> but uh, it's fun, you know. I think I think personally, I think Hercules works. Now yeah, it all oh, depends. Def it definitely could work. Definitely. How they do it. Yeah, Hercules works. It all depends on how so, they do it. So, being that you said that, uh, it all depends how they do it. Let me ask you this. When we were first introduced to Cap, they went back. Then they put him in the in, in the present. Do they okay. do the same with Hercules? Would you when, do the same with Hercules? You can't now because we now all know once WandaVision hits and Doctor Strange... What's the past anymore? We just have to wait and see what happens. I don't think it's going to go so crazy where it loses people, right? Because you can lose people with these ideas, right? Um, I don't think they'll make it... I don't think they'll make it crazy. Because imagine they would have done... Um, just think about this. When we first saw Thanos, we said, oh, snap, they're doing the Infinity Gauntlet. I, I don't think they're going to do it the way the comics did it, right? They toned it down. No, they made no, it, no. They made it, you know... Everything made sense. It wasn't out there. I don't think they'll do the same with WandaVision per se. We just have to wait and see how crazy it gets. Obviously, we get in the multiverse of madness. Let's see what that means. So I'm not jumping the gun uh, to, to, to say this is not possible because of this, because we don't know what this is yet. So yeah. Uh, so with Hercules, I, I think this is, I don't know if you do the same thing with Cap. Maybe you do fla um, um, flashbacks or whatever the case may be, but you can definitely make Hercules work because he's he's sort of like the thread in, in the Marvel Universe somewhat because he deals with everybody as well. And plus, yeah, you're expanding the universe. Guess what? It's not just as Guardians. It's not. You got the Egyptians. And not for nothing, you, in Black Panther, you, inter you introduce Bass. Bass is part of the Egyptian Godhead. So here we go. So then if we're going to go down this route, Where's Hercules? And and ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know, maybe you probably didn't know, um, Hercules was a great Avenger. Hercules was an Avenger. He was a champion. Hercules has two infamous Avenger runs that applied to him. Which and one was Ave Avengers Under Siege, which introduced the Thunderbolts. Okay. Hercules was almost beaten to death by Goliath, Atlas, Mr. Hyde, Thor's enemy. One was Bulldozer, 
One was the guy carried a big crowbar. One was bulldozer crowbar. I mean, these guys, and they literally, if you look at the comic book panels, they beat him to death. And then, well, of course, obviously, when Hercules was in the hospital, and then, you know, heads found out what happened. Oh, it was death wish now. Uh-huh. They were hunting you down. De- nah, you ain't going to jail. <laughs> what? <laughs> you ain't going to jail. <laughs> And Thor's looking for you. Yeah. He went to the, once he went to the hospital, that was it. Lights out, what? If I were you guys, I don't know what you do. Make a deal with Hella, because he's coming. Big Hercules run back in uh, 1987, Olympus under siege, where Zeus went mad. Mm-hmm. And the Avengers had this. I mean, you had Thor, Namor, Hercules, She-Hulk, the, the black Captain Marvel with light. Um, energy and Captain America, but the only thing was Thor was cursed as uh, Walt Simpson. Thor was cursed with brittle bones, and and but Thor put up a fight, and Thor hit him. Thor hit Zeus in the face with the hammer. It was like <laughs> holy. And then the thing about it was, you found out the connections that Nemo has with with Neptune and Poseidon, uh-huh. because Zeus's brother said, "I can't let you kill him." Because he's my heir on Earth. I mean, it was there's a whole lot of stuff with Namor that was never really explored. That yeah, he's the he's the heir to Poseidon. And, and let me ask you this: being being that all this, there's a lot of great story there. Yeah, there's a lot of Godhead stories and who's connected to who. How do you go about introducing him? Well, the, an introduction to me once again. I, I don't know what the continue. This is after um. Doctor Strange, because after Sam Raimi blows our mind with whatever special effects and craziness. <laughs> but, you know, when Sam Raimi does the stuff, you yeah, guys saw what he did with Dark Man. You tell, I, you know, boys and girls, you guys chime in. This is, that, this is that chime in moment. I don't know what this thing is going to look like after WandaVision and Doctor uh-huh. Strange. But I would say if all of a sudden, I, I mean, I know this is jumping out the window. <laughs> after... WandaVision and Doctor Strange, will we now be in a universe, a Marvel, a Marvel Cinematic Universe, there's always been vampires, there's always been werewolves, there's always been mutants, there's always been, uh-huh. it's not a thing anymore, there was always Captain America and the invaders, we don't know what changes what man, That's, I'm, I'm, I'm just putting it out there, hey guess what? Thanos is still alive in this new universe. Dude, what? <laughs> Thanos is still alive. Come on. Am I joking? Is that possible? Of course it is. Why? We'll find out whatever happens. Whatever. Hey, listen, you said it before on many a podcast. You don't know what Kevin's plans are, but you know that man has plans. Yes, of course. There's no question about it. If he's talking about, and you guys read the headlines just like we do, Dracula is hunting Moon Knight on the Disney Plus series? Come on, man. Come on. Is that the rumor? That's the rumor. He already, I guess Kevin's putting it out. The universe is about to change. And this whole thing with Sony and the Madam Web, that goes along the mystical side of Spider-Man. Yeah. That Spider-Man gets his... uh, Spider oh, does not gets his power. Let's get it right. Fact check. He's connected to the spider totem. And listen, all this stuff is going to be introduced now, boys and girls. The cat's out the bag. The kid's walking around the house with mud on his feet. There's nothing you can do about it. Okay, so not knowing what this the universe will be, be after. Yes, after yeah. WandaVision and, and WandaVision yeah. and, and Doctor Strange's film. Yeah. We have to start from somewhere. There has to be a way that you would introduce Hercules. That I mean, like I gave you. Well, I asked you: Would you go back to the past, or, or would you, or, or would you keep him in the future and then go flashbacks as to who he is? Yeah, or, I would you know, do that. Because ca- would... you would have to build the character up. You just can't put Hercules in there. So you know that's not the way Marvel does it. So do yeah, you give course. him his own own movie? Do you uh, put him in a movie with someone to introduce him, or do you do a Disney Plus move a uh, uh, show or movie? Because things are changing in regards to how movies are being distributed now. 
Yeah, I would do a Disney Plus. I would do a Disney Plus because you can add anybody in there. And you could do a Disney Plus where I don't want to do the old TV show, The Fugitive, where Hercules is here, but he doesn't know. I mean, you could do that. Her- Hercules is here. He doesn't know how he got here. He could find out that Hera or Medusa or somebody put him here, gave him a poison. I mean, we just right now, we just now we just throwing stuff up. He could be, he, you know, he could be fighting and he's got all this strength and he's in, bullets are bouncing off, bombs don't hurt him. He's lifting tanks. That's all well and good. But then there's a premise. He, like, how, how am I here? The last time I remember, I was in Olympus. And then maybe, mm-hmm. maybe on the journey, you could mm-hmm. trigger things that are like triggers. You know, yeah. he sees this. Maybe he meets Amadeus Child. I mean, I don't yeah. know. There's a, there's a lot of great runs with Hercules. But I just think overall, what we're saying, ladies and gentlemen, here tonight, or daytime or whatever time you watch this, uh, <laughs> listen to this, uh, a watch on YouTube. Um, you can or start whatever. Yeah. Or iTunes. You, or, or yeah. SoundCloud. You, you, whatever. But you mm-hmm. guys, you, you can put them anywhere. Okay. And I just think that it goes from there. Because, um, like I said, I would leave Hercules as an option based on the fact that there's a familiarity with him, based on mm-hmm. the fact that there was a previous TV show, and it did quite well mm-hmm. in a smaller market. Yeah. I mean, I like CW and everything, but that thing was syndicated. And you know there was a point in time, Hercules was the number one syndicated show in the world. And if you guys didn't know, back in back about 20 years ago, that's how things run. You can be on network TV, but some of the syndicated shows were bigger than the network shows. That's how it was. Mm-hmm. There was no Netflix. That was before streaming. The, the, the titles... Says it all. That's the name brand right there, Hercules. Mm-hmm. People will come. People will mm-hmm. look at it. Especially you get that if whole doing genre. It. Especially, yeah, especially if Marvel's doing, doing it. But you know what? And I think you and I agree that in order for this to be successful, because just picture this: you cast a guy that fits the bill, right? And I already sent you a, a name. And oh yeah, you, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That guy would be immediately, perfect. Immediately, you immediately agreed. So yeah, I know I'm perfect. not. So I'm. I know I'm not bugging. Kalen Von Moga, I believe that's how his name is pronounced. Bigger. Bigger. Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Oh, that came out in 2018, I believe. Oh, they made it in 2018. This, this. Listen, Kev, if you're listening. Hercules is a no-brainer. Yeah. Hercules is less of a risk than, I won't say them, because <laughs> you know the great love and admiration. Yeah. But Hercules is less of a gamble than A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Completely <laughs> less of a gamble. Yeah. If, and already has his own following. Especially if you cast that dude. Especially if you cast that dude. And he already has his own following. You're going to get the Lord of the Ring, the Narnia. You're going to get all that fan base will come a-running. Oh. Man. Forget about it. That's another lane right there. That's of course. Another, that's another lane. That I you mean, you say you didn't want to do that. You didn't want to do that with Thor. And now you're doing the, the Taiki Y Tik Tik. <laughs> Tik's doing his thing with Thor. But that genre is still out there. You give them a Hercules Let me that ask they you can this, love Trey. and they love the guy. Forget it. Home run. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Does Hercules. And Thor have similar sort of feel with regards to the similar relationships they have with their fathers. Does it almost play out as I've seen this before or how would they do it differently to make it like new? You know what I'm saying? Well, the... Lo and behold, ladies and gentlemen, Greek mythology is older than all of us right now. And every day that the sun rises and shines, guess what? Greek mythology will still be older than all of us right now. So, the dichotomy with all of the myths, for some reason, and no insult to the ladies, but it's always about (sighs) fathers and sons. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> that seems to be the crest of the universe. Mm-hmm. Fathers 
and sons. I'm not even going to go there. If anybody wants to go that route, you go right ahead. That's another that's another podcast. But yeah. we're talking about the, the myths is always about fathers and sons. But yeah. if far as Roman uh, Greek mythology, Zeus has a lot of sons. Yeah. It's, it's completely different from Asgardian. How they play it out is the same way. I mean, the way DC Comics does it, Shazam is getting his, Shazam gets some of his powers from Zeus and Hercules, which is funny. Yeah. And then Wonder Woman is basically Hercules' sister, because Zeus yeah. is her father. See, DC is different. Now, how would Marvel play it out? That's up to Marvel. Kevin's pretty, pre, Kevin's a pretty tight, sharp guy. Um, yeah. Will you want to play that same father-son angst? But you know what? Guess what? You don't even have that anymore because, well, Odin's gone, yeah, right? Yeah, Odin's gone. Right, maybe I don't know. After WandaVision and Doctor Strange, who knows? I, I don't know. If they if they go that route to sort of a, uh, sort of give us a, some sort of history or sort of that or, or show us that relationship, they'd have to make it a little bit more fresh. It can't be yeah. because you, you still get the same like he's been casted down to earth, stripped of his powers, or whatever the case may be. Right? Yeah, but that do was never want... the course. Okay, that was never the course with uh, with Hercules. Remember Hercules. His mother's human. Yeah. And it was one of Zeus's many and multiple multitude of dalliances that he had with the women. You know, he's uh -huh. a, you know, Zeus loves them women. He just come in here. He should be thinking he's a caterpillar. So what's that bug on your window? Nothing, mommy. Yeah, oh my God. But anyway. It all depends on how they write it. But Hercules, as far as Hercules the superhero, Hercules blends in with everything. He's yeah. another one of those characters. He can go mystic. He can go supernatural. He can go cosmic. He can also go superhero-ish. Yeah. Um, Hercules, listen, Hercules is a home run. There, there's, yeah. there's a no-lose with Hercules. What I think doing Hercules would be better than A, B, C, D, and E. <laughs> Trey, like, ima imagine, wow. just imagine, just, just imagine the toys you can sell with Hercules. Oh, oh come on, Kevin, Hercules is right there. And Hercules yeah. and Thor and, and Better A Bill, all these guys are best damn buds. They're all like brothers. Yeah. This is home run. <laughs> Hercules is home run. Yeah. I mean, easy. Yeah. Easy. Now, I don't like what a writer's doing now currently with uh, Hercules being in being in love with Wolverine, I, I don't even know. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's when, you know, they, I mean, we understand it's media and everything, but when people start pitching stuff, I, I mean, really? Yeah. Really? Just can't leave it alone <laughs> the way it is, right? Just got to <laughs> have him be in love with a uh, kangaroo. Okay. <laughs> you know, I, I guess, you know what, in media, I guess shock and awe still counts for something or whatever. Yeah. But anyway, the Hercules, the Hercules that I know, the track record's already there. It's been done before. It was number one in syndication. It'll have a following. It, it, Kevin, when you're introducing Hercules, now, after this conversation, this podcast. And you have the actor. You have the actor. Don't look no further. Just get this brother, because if he can't act, then we got a problem, right? So do whatever well, yeah, you need to do to get him to where he needs to be so that you are straight after that. And then we also got to know how, what, who, how are we doing Hercules? What Hercules is he? Where, where, where is he? Will he have a sidekick like this, this show? I don't think they'll do that. I don't think they'll do that. Um, so, yeah, I, we just had to do this little quick MCU future series and talk about the uh, Lion of Olympus. Yeah, real quick. How dope would it be? Hercules standing next to Thor, like they're in the same vicinity, and people are impressed with Hercules, Hercules rather than Thor, because everybody's impressed by Thor, right? When he walks into a room, you know yeah. his his physique. Imagine getting that guy playing Hercules and Thor having to feel somewhat a little bit, somewhat a little well, bit. Well, um, I mean, the the, the cheating part is uh, Her Hercules ain't got a shirt on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, yo, hey, yo, who's the naked guy over there? Wow. <laughs> wow. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's right. This was a quick MCU future series. And this one threw you off the uh, normal kabook. 
We're talking about Hercules, the Lion of Olympus. This was fun. Hope you guys like this one. This one's really going to mess everybody up. But this is going to make you say, hmm, Hercules. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it works. It works. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to sign off. We're going to see you at the same bat time, same bat channel. Have a good weekend.